case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The main Supreme Judicial Court heard the case of Francis V. Stinson in 2000, which centered on plaintiffs filing lawsuits within specific time frames based on their claims. The Francis family and other plaintiffs alleged that they were given a low offer for their stock in the Stinson Canning Company, a breach of fiduciary duty stemming from inadequate information about the company's financial struggles. However, the court dismissed these claims due to the statute of limitations. The Stinson Canning Company was reorganized in 1975, and stock was gifted to family members by the late 1970s. Charles and Calvin Jr. and their wives were given 100% of the voting stock. By 1990, Charles had served as company president until the company was sold. All claims, except the fair share promise, were deemed time-barred by the court due to exceeding the six-year requirement. Camp Hills was dismissed as a defendant because the complaint surpassed the two-year statute of limitations. In addition, the court ruled Lou Anne's parole evidence for fraudulent promise as inadmissible and the White's fraud claims as unsupported. The plaintiff's tortious interference claim was also dismissed as time-barred and unsupported by evidence. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.